What? I expected a game about mailing letters! Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where we're playing old retro games in the order they came out in. Today we're playing Atari 2600 games, we're playing Mr. Postman, Nightmare, and No Escape. And our first game today is Mr. Postman, which came out in 1983. And the box art just has some kind of weird mascot from the post office, I don't know, but that's a British post box, that's interesting. And Mr. Postman, your mission is to protect the Mr. Postman sending a secret letter safely to Silent City. That sounds like spy crap. To be press the button is to make Mr. Postman should keep away his from Hales and the Eagle, or you press the button to shoot down them. <clears throat> All right, let me rephrase this. To press the button is to make Mr. Postman should keep away from Hales and the Eagle, or you press the button to shoot down them. That makes perfect sense. Mr. Postman cannot touch the wall as he is walking on the street. Otherwise, all will be gone. Scoring. Any lose and mistake, deduct 10 from the basic scores. 2,000. One game, one player. Man. Okay. Let's play the game. He looks like a bear, not a postman. He doesn't look like that eagle thing. What is... Okay. Okay, Mr. Postman. I suspect this game was relabeled and made, uh, not really related to Mr. Postman. I appear to be a bear in a blue shirt trying to dodge a demon attack demon. And it seems to have little to nothing to do with mailing letters. Let's try that again. Let's see if we can get to the top of the screen. That'd be new. Oh, stupid bird. Wait, I have the power to rewind. Why am I... Why am I stressing? Go, 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 go! Yeah. Now what? Uh, whoa. Okay. As, as it said, press button to shoot down them. Or something. And... Jump bear! Yeah, we're jungle hunting now. Wait, was that supposed to happen? I guess that was good? What? What? I expected a game about mailing letters! This is not that. This is kill that thing. Boom, boom, get him! Get him! Kill that bird! Bird! Bird's too fast. I have no idea. The back of the box told me nothing about this. Oh, I can move up. Okay. I didn't ex Nobody expects that. What is... Oh, Bitcorp. That's a fun sound. Well, we've seen enough of that game. And graphics for Mr. Postman get a whopping three. Um, uh, yeah. Three. Sound design, a one and a half. Music, a zero. Story, um, yeah, I mean, thinks the back of the box that is poorly written has nothing to do with the game. So you get a zero. Controls, controls, the bear controls okay. That's a five. Funness, a, um, half. Does it hold my attention? Nope. And overall, Mr. Postman, if that is indeed your name, gets a one. And let's move on to the next one. All right, our next game is called Nightmare and came out in 1983. And the box art has what is definitely a nightmare. 
I don't know what that thing in the middle is, but I'm going to be dreaming about him tonight, and uh, he's very creepy. And there's a helicopter, and a hot air balloon, and a snake, and uh, Zadar there or something in some kind of outfit. Interesting. Let's play the game by Sancho. Okay, that's a theme. It's nighttime music. I get it. Okay, this game has stayed on theme better than Mr. Postman so far. And I'm dead. Okay, get up! You have three lives! Wow. I gotta wait five minutes for the uh, music to play and him to wake up from his coma. Yeah, so when you jump, he doesn't jump straight up. He jumps forward at an angle. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, there's not much control in the jumping. Oh, a dude on day. And there's more. Oh, I get a weapon now. Rewind. I'm gonna kill something. Nope. Alright. Well, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare. Graphics, uh, uh, one and a half. Sound, um, a one. Music, a three. Story. I mean, it didn't have the back of the box, so I have no idea what the story's supposed to be, but apparently you're in some kind of nightmare. We'll give it a one. Controls, one, and funness, a uh, half a one. Does it hold my attention? A half a one, and overall Nightmare will get a one. Let's move on to the last game. Hopefully it's better than those. All right, our last game today is called No Escape, which came out in 1983. And the box art here, we see it's in a magic game with a free joystick, $15.95 value with purchase of No Escape. Details on the back. And... Uh, it looks like they borrowed Billy from the art department to pose in this photo they took, and he had no idea that was going to happen. He looks very shocked. And no escape. Free Zircon joystick offer. Just send $1.50 for postage and handling. Offer expires 12-31-83. Rats! See details inside. Eight fast-paced challenges, and we can't read any of them. So let's play it. Okay, I'm a smurf. Uh, oh, I didn't realize top of the screen is kind of like breakout. Ooh, I can curve my bullets a little bit. So it's a breakout kind of game, but with weird skeleton guys, I guess. Well, they already told me there's no escape, so we're kind of screwed, aren't we? Come on, Smurf guy. Wow. Uh, Magic games lately have been not as good as they were. Seems like there's been a quality drop in the Magic games. Uh, in late 83. Huh? Did I win? Did I lose? Oh, now, oh. Now the skeletons are white, and they killed me. Yeah. Uh, better than the first two games we played today. Not saying much. Looking at you, Mr. Postman. I want to break through at the top and see what happens. I guess you just kill the skeletons? I don't know. I get points for all the... Whoa, what are those? What are those derpy looking guys? Hi, oh, we're here! We're here to destroy you! 
Look at our weird faces. And the whole building comes crashing down, and there I go on my Pegasus to the sky. And that, that, that's it, I guess. Okay. So let's rate the game. No escape graphics. Um, let me give the graphics a four and a half. Sound is five. Music um, had kind of a pulsating beat thing going on to it. We'll give that a two and a half. Story, we have no idea. You'll give it a one. Controls were fine. A um, little weird controlling your bullet a little bit there. So we'll give that a, uh, a five. Funness, a three and a half. Does it hold my attention? Uh, a three and a half. And overall, No Escape is going to get a four. And that was No Escape for the Atari 2600. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you next game.